Welcome back to the Lucy Bird YouTube channel. I'm starting a series geared towards the beginner quilter. Even if you've been quilting for a while, you may learn a couple of new tips or tricks that may help you to make perfect quilt blocks. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the perfect half square triangle. And you can see that four half square triangles, when arranged together, can become a pinwheel. So if you master that one simple quilt block, you can make this cute little wall hanging really quickly. I'll bet you can put it together in less than a weekend. Let's get started. So to make a half square triangle, you're going to start with a fabric A piece. I've chosen a lighter white background piece and you're going to choose a fabric B piece. These can be whatever you want. I, for my wall hanging, have about 18 different colors in this. You can see that my fabric A is consistently the same color. My fabric B pieces are a bunch of different colors that I've arranged in a Roy G. Bib type of pattern. All right, to get started, let's gather up a few supplies. You're going to need 18 of your fabric A squares cut to four by four inches. You're going to need 18 of your fabric B squares also cut to four by four inches. So what you're gonna do is take a fabric A square. You're going to layer it right sides together with your fabric B square. And then you're gonna take a pencil. I'm just using a normal school pencil and a ruler. And you're going to line it up from corner to corner and draw a line. Now you're gonna take this to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch away from either side of this line. You're not going to stitch on the line. That's gonna be your cutting line. You're going to stitch a quarter of inch on this side and a quarter of inch on this side. Follow me to my sewing machine, I'll show you. All right, so I have a fabric A piece layered together with a fabric B piece, right sides together. I'm gonna to come to my sewing machine and I'm using my quarter inch foot. If you do not have a quarter inch foot, I highly recommend you invest in one or find a marking tool that works for your machine. Let's get started. I'm just gonna sew down each side of this line that I made with my pencil. There's one, I'm not even gonna to stop to click to clip my foot thread. Um, normally, I would chain piece all of mine together at once, but because I'm showing you, I'm just gonna make one here real quick. So now I'm gonna go back down the other side. Pull it away from your machine. We're just gonna trim those threads. So now you can see this piece has a stitch line here, here, and we still have our marked line. Seam five, pick two. All right, so now what we're going to do is we've sewn down both sides of that line. I'm going to take a ruler, and if you are a new quilter and you want to know what I think are the top 10 quilting notions you need to invest in, I do have a full blog post on it. But here's a hint, great rulers are one of them. So I'm just gonna line up my ruler from edge to edge. I just lined it up on that pencil line. I'm gonna take a sharp rotary cutter. I'm gonna trim right on that line. Always put your blade away when you set it down. And now I have two pieces. So that one four inch block yielded two half square triangles. And one of the keys to great quilting is accurate cutting and measuring so that your blocks are the same and that helps make the perfect point. I'm going to show you my favorite way to square up a half square triangle, but this is a separate ruler you have to invest in. I'm using the quilt in a day ruler. So in order to use this ruler, you do not open up your half square triangle. What you do is you find the size that you want to make. This pattern calls for a three and a half inch square. So you find three and a half inch on here and you line that up on your seam. So I'm just lining this red line on the ruler 
on top of my stitch line. Then taking your rotary cutter, you're just going to trim up that side and down that side. And that squared up a perfect half square triangle. Now you're gonna take this to your pressing mat or your ironing board and you're gonna open it up pressing to the darker side. All right, so I'm back from my ironing board. This is the half square triangle that I squared up using my quilt in the day ruler before I went over to the ironing board. All right, so to make your pinwheel block, all it is is combining four of your half square triangle. So two sets. Now to make the pinwheel, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing and you're going to start to see how other quilt blocks come together too. But I always start by placing all of my dark corners or triangles the same way. So one, two, three, four. So this is how I do it. I keep this one static. I turn this a quarter turn. I turn this twice. And then I turn this block three times. One, two, three. And now you can see I have the perfect pinwheel. To stitch it, put these right sides together, put a pin in it, put these right sides together, put a quick pin in it, and you're gonna take it to your machine and you're gonna sew a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here. So you're sewing where your pins are at. That way when you open them up, you can combine these two units to each other to create your pinwheel block. All right, so I hope that helped you to make half square triangle blocks, which you can turn into perfect pinwheel blocks. This quilted wall hanging is a free pattern over on my website, thelucybird.com. Uh, it's simple. This may look complicated, but all it really is is nine blocks that are made into a pinwheel. Here's one, and you can just see it's repeated over. But you can find all of the finishing instructions, including how to add your border and your binding over on thelucybird.com. Download your free pattern. Thanks for following along.